today we are making a low carb steak and mushroom alfredo over broccoli. Woohoo! Yummy. To begin, make cute. sure you like and subscribe this video and hit that notification button for more content. Okay, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a couple of mushrooms, some pepper, salt, um, garlic, and alfredo. This already has mushrooms in it, so you're not gonna need a whole bunch. Uh, you're gonna need a skillet, and you're going to need your roast or steak. You can make your own alfredo. It is really simple, but we just bought some because we were we wanted a quick and easy meal. It takes about 30 minutes or so to make. So we bought some good quality alfredo, but you can make it and maybe in a later video I will show you guys how. Okay, so to begin, we're going to cut our roast into little squares like stew meat and you can make them a little bigger because they'll shrink when they're cooked. But also, I was just trying to cut all the fat away. It can't hurt you or anything. It just it doesn't taste all that good. So, just. So, we left a little bit of fat because it gives it some flavor. But we cut off the big chunks because we have left them before and we took a big bite and it was just fat and it it didn't taste very good it was, it was really gross actually so the fat can give it some flavor but you do not want the big pieces in there for many reasons it's tough my roast is still slightly frozen so it makes it kind of harder to cut but So you want to cut them all all the same or as much of the same as possible so that all cook the same but if some are slightly bigger or slightly smaller it's not really gonna hurt anything but the bigger ones will be cooked a little more medium rare which I'm okay with because that's how I like to eat my steak it's yummy Yeah, this is a really frozen piece, so I'm having a little more trouble with it. Haha, -ha. I got it. still slightly frozen or a little easier to cut but they won't cook as well I think they'll cook slower if they're frozen so you do want to thaw it out as much as possible but if it's slightly frozen still it's not really gonna hurt anything so Okay, my last little bit. Slow, purposeful, like, cuts. We'll get it done better. Okay. Neat so, done. we're going to add some... This is what it looks like. So, we're going to add some garlic and season it some. And then we are going to saute it. Which I will show you how to do. So, first we open this. <laughs> so, when getting, I'm using my min minced garlic. So, you're gonna just wanna like get a, a small spoonful and just like spread it around. A small spoonful unless you like I guess really really like garlic and I'm using Himalayan salt because it it's it's a lot healthier plus in my opinion it tastes better you don't need a whole lot you just 
Same with the salt, except I'm just using, or this is pepper, I'm in, <laughs> pepper, I'm using black pepper. A little more of the pepper. There we go. And so I added quite a bit more pepper and salt, because we like pepper and salt. And we're going to take about a tea, tablespoon of butter, which, yeah, I'm not measuring it, so I'm just going to, like, eyeball it. It's, uh, yeah. For flavor. For flavor. Since the roast is already kind of greasy, so you don't really need anything underneath it to make it stop from sticking to the pan. Okay. We're going to move to the sauteing now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with sauteing, once you put the food or whatever you're in and your butter, you're just going to like move it around some while it cooks. And with this, I'm just going to move it around some, let some of it cook in spots until it gets brown all over, until it's fully cooked. So, I'm just So with beef, you're going to want it a little medium rare, I guess. So we're going to only brown it on the outside and not worry about what color it is on the inside. So we'll have the flavor of our choice. Okay, so we took our meat out of the pan and we're going to be cooking our baby broccolis in here with the juice from the meat until it's almost done and then we will add the mushrooms which only take a moment to cook and then we're gonna add our meat back and finish it up and season it we had oh I have to season it <laughs> okay. okay so as I said we like our salt so I put a little extra salt and some pepper. I probably need to add a little more of that. Okay. So now that it's seasoned, and this is just like we were doing with the meat, you're just gonna move it around some, cooking it with the juice so it can have some of that flavor and stuff. Okay, so when we add the mushrooms, it doesn't really matter if you like the texture or the taste of mushrooms, it gives flavor to whatever you're cooking and so when I cut up the mushrooms I cut them big enough so that you can pick them out once you're done eating but they're still there so they can still flavor up while you're cooking and they only take a minute to cook so you can put them in right before we put the meat in and it'll be good okay so I personally do not like much this is about five mushrooms but I personally do not like mushrooms but I like the flavor it gives whatever we're cooking. So I'll usually just pick them out before I eat them. But yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna add our Alfredo sauce. And depending on how much you're cooking, you might need more than just one can. So I'm just gonna, yeah. I don't know if I got that off. Okay. And then we're going to re-add the meat to our pan just so that everything can cook just a little bit together and get all the flavors stuff mixed and mix it extensively. Make sure everything's everything has every bit of flavor that it needs. And then you're done. And that's it. Thank you for watching and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye.